Nothing comes before respect. Sharp Game coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com off of Boss Life Secrets, which can be found on Amazon.com. So yeah, uh, previously I did a video and I talked about respect and why respect is so important. And I got an email from a um, long-time listener. He said, um, hey, uh, what about love and uh, you know, I don't want to be fair and, uh, and on and on and on. He, 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 you know, he, he made a good argument and um, you don't want to be fair. But unfortunately, we don't live in a perfect world. Um, look, like I said, if love didn't work, it's not working. Um, education ain't working. Love ain't working. It didn't work. If love was, if love and education was the answer, it would have worked 450 years ago. Didn't work out. It's not working out. Look at how society is set up today. When I walk around, I don't know about you. When I walk around, I don't see many people saying that, hey, man, I love that guy, man. You know, he's, he's, he's a, just a genuine guy. You know, um, can't, I don't know, I can't say enough about him, him or her. I don't hear a lot of that. You have a few isolated incidents. Of some, a lot of people are lying. A lot of people are perpetrating fraud, talking about how much they like the person on the job. Please. People are per putting on the fake smile. You know, they're wearing the mask. But lo and behold, behind the scenes, they when they get home around their peers and their friends and family, they saying something else about the person behind their back. Uh, people just tolerate people for whatever reason, whatever, because they gotta make that they need that paycheck. Whatever, people are not very. The people that you work with or the people that you associate with. The person that they represent, that's not who, who they really are. 80, I, I'm going to say 80, 90% people you work with, people at the church, people at the conferences you meet, people at the club, people at, I don't care where you go. That's not who they are. When you get to know them, then you be like, oh, okay. You're like, you misled me in the beginning. You know, that's not who they are. That's not who they are. That ain't got nothing to do with no love. That's deception. <laughs> you know, I mean, when you meet somebody in the beginning, I'm not thinking about loving this person. Do I get him the benefit of the doubt? No, until proven otherwise. We don't live in a perfect world. It, it's it's sad, but it's it is what it is. You gotta start looking at things for what it is, man. The reason why people say, well, hey, if you educate the cops, they won't beat people up and shoot them and kill them. No, no, it ain't it ain't got nothing to do. 
that would have, if that education was the problem, it would have worked 400 years, 500 years ago, 600 years ago. It would have worked in the 1700s. When this country came about, but they had all the education. They, it's people that have got, it's books that's out right now that's two, three, four hundred years old. The people that read the books and educate themselves, and they still don't get no better. They still act like goddamn fools. And the only reason, the only way they're going to change that I've seen is through fear and, and the consequences that comes along with their action. That's the only way people will change their action. Something has to happen. Or somebody has to say, hey, if you do that, this is what the consequences of your action. That's the only way. Now, when, when you deal on the end of, for the individual basis, go now from the individual standpoint, I should say, if you were a woman, nothing comes before respect. Nothing. You can say, Lord, love, commitment, trust, whatever. You put all that up in there. Nothing comes before respect, I'm telling you. A little bit of res respect, Little lust, little love, little commitment, little. You can put anything you want in there, but respect on top every time. Because what I found is if you don't, if you don't get, if the respect is ain't on, if respect is not on top. Nothing is going to, to be the way you want. I mean, it might not ever be the way you want, but it really ain't going to be the way you want it. You have to respect it. The sex won't be the same. It'll be like the lazy, I, I'm tired. The lazy suck. You know, I, I don't know, man. You know, it's like she laying there like a log. <laughs> If you ask her to do something, like, hey, cook me, uh, cook me, cook me that, that dish that you like, your favorite dish, maybe. Man, man, I don't feel like it. <laughs> See, if the respect is there, she'll be like, oh, sure, hun, yeah, I'll cook it. Sure, babes. It won't even be no going back. She might, you might ask you, hey, how you want it? What time? You want it like it was the last time? Hey, that's cool. But if the respect ain't there, it's like, man, we had that last week. I you want that again. She, she trying to get out of it. <laughs> See, you know, and if, let me tell you what you don't want. You really don't want a woman around you anybody for that matter that don't have don't feel anything for you that's a dangerous person to be around because they'll do anything they'll put you in harm's way they'll cheat on you they'll bring uh stuff back home to you maybe a disease they'll do anything they'll bring guys back home when you're not there you know they might even bring a woman home when you're not there. They just do anything because there's no respect, no boundaries that was was set. Anything. See, see if a woman respects you, it's gonna be kind of hard for her to just leave. It's gonna be hard for her to do all that, the craziness that a lot of these guys be going through, the child support and and all the. Bringing guys home and, and disappearing on the, the, the guy goes to work and come home, everything gone. The, it, she even take the kids gone, even the dog gone. It's no respect. It's gonna be 
she's going to have to think about doing all that stuff. And she's going to feel that fear inside of her stomach. She's going to be like, oh, no, I can't. I ain't going to try him like that. You know? Yeah. But if it's, if it's, see, if it's, just, about, if it's just about love, Man, that could end. That could change next week. <laughs> Most women love means something different to them. That you know, that's like a a lot of women love is like a instant emotion. After you had sex with her, oh, I, doing sex, oh, I love you. The sex over, I don't love you no more. <laughs> you know, so like. You can't really, you can't really take take that serious. But everybody know what respect looks like. They seen it. They saw it when they was growing up. They might be confused about love. Well, that is respect. Everybody know what that looks like. Nobody's confused about that. See, some places around the world, the concept of love don't exist. But I tell you what, respect, respect does exist. Worldwide, hands down. No confusion about that. Everybody know what that looked like. They saw it when they was growing up. They saw it in their household. They saw it on the street. They see it at the job. They see it everywhere they go. They know what respect looks like. And if you don't have it, or maybe you don't want it, or maybe you don't care about it. And if you're one of those guys, I'm thinking something's wrong with you. Why not you? You might say, well, I ain't, who, I ain't nobody. I ain't nobody special. Well, if, if your self-image is is, is is in the dumpster, homeboy. You need to check yourself. Or you wreck yourself. If you don't have a high self-image of yourself, heck, nobody else will. You probably one of those people that think you have to be a celebrity to do something, or you have to be a guy of high status to do something, or you have to be a guy of high status to, to do great things in life. See, I never believed that. I wasn't raised that way. I was raised, hey man, whatever you want to do, you gotta get, you gotta go at it, hundred percent, no holds barred. Don't matter what nobody thinks. Who cares what other people think? Who cares what they say? Most people ain't worth a damn anyway. That's just reality. Most people you most people you know ain't worth a damn. They ain't worth a nickel. You need to get away from them, but you keep them around because you want to be liked. You want to please everybody. I'm not in the business of pleasing pleasing people. That ain't my you know, that ain't my responsibility to please people all day long. So hey, nothing comes before respect. Tell me what you think below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. Anything I can do to help you, let me know. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.